there is far less traffic on the streets of Kolkata than normal. A 15-day lockdown has been imposed here in West Bengal following a surge in infections. That surge is being linked to mass election rallies held by Prime Minister Narendra Modi last month. I think this lockdown was very important. Uh, it, it is the need of the hour right now because the situation was getting worsened. So, like, the safety and uh, people's lives matter more than anything else. And uh, while I was coming, uh, I saw that it's pretty strict out here. So that's good. It's good to see that people are serious now. India's second wave has been devastating. While there has been a slight easing in the number of registered infections over the last week, the country is recording its highest number of deaths. The number of infections stands at around 25 million people. More than 274,000 have died, with India's B1617 variant more virulent. At this cemetery in Delhi, funeral workers say they are overwhelmed. <laughs> Narendra Modi has said he is feeling the country's COVID pain. His government, though, is being criticized for focusing too much on elections, allowing oxygen shortages and its slow vaccine rollout. Despite being the largest vaccine-producing nation, only one in ten of India's 1.3 billion people have received at least one jab.